Hey yo, and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to the vlog. I'm sorry if there's a bit of a kind of angry vibe going on in my intro, but I'm a little bit angry this morning, to be honest with you. I've literally woken up to an absolute shower of poop. It's ridiculous. People banging on the door, turned away three taxi drivers today already. A little Indian takeaway delivery man like from a cafe, and he almost cried. He had bags of food. He's asking me all these questions. What am I going to do with this? Who's going to pay for this? Uh, I, I don't know. I've just woken up. I've got puffy eyes. I feel defenceless. I haven't even had my coffee yet. I haven't even got dressed yet. I don't want to be speaking to members of the public and turning them away. You need to stop it. Anything that comes to me now, anything that's sent to me, I will no longer be responding to. It's going straight in the bin. I'm going to get onto Tesco's today because they've not responded like the way they should have done. Multiple club cards have come through. They're going to get the rough side of my tongue. Make sure you don't get it as well. It's ridiculous. I will set up a PO box as soon as I can. But until then, if you feel the need to be an idiot and send me stuff, you can send it through to Callum's Corner, up my arse, second shelf on the left. A little twat. So I'm sorry, I had to get that off my chest. Uh, we've got a lot to sort out today. As I mentioned, we're going to speak to Tesco's because it's getting ridiculous now. I've not, I, I haven't got room to throw this many club cars away. It's getting mental. Uh, and then I'll, I will try and calm down after that. I think I'll go for an all-day breakfast. I'll go to my happy place, try and calm down, and, and then we'll deal with Lenny. I've got him a harness now, um, and last night he started walking a bit better. So hopefully uh, we're going to smash that off. It's a very goal oriented vlog today. Stuff needs to be sorted, and it's going to be. Right, I've had a shower and a cup of coffee and I feel a bit more with it, ready to deal with Tesco. I'm currently on hold to them, waiting for them to answer, going through their stupid automated answering service. Uh, none of the options apply to me. Uh, but I do feel like we need a video record of this now to make sure that they are taking this seriously, because I'm fed up of this. What, I've got like a thousand club cards. I'm not giving you a number. I'm not... No. One, I guess. To update your address, your email address, or your name, please No. Please For anything else, please hold. Definitely anything else. Our new Club Card Plus subscription, press 1. If you need to replace your Club Card, No. Two. Plenty of Club else, Cards. It's 3. Anything else, definitely anything Nothing else. Nothing about your experience with us today. If you are happy. Uh, yeah, please, perhaps you can help me. Uh, I'm currently receiving hundreds of club cards through the post. Um, someone is sending them to me. Some people are sending them to me. I really need my address to be blacklisted, uh, if at all possible. It's ridiculous. I'm, there's like an, an Amazon bloody uh, village in the Amazon rainforest. We've now got a river view. After all this. Right, okay, let's have a look. All right. Uh, what's the fourth card uh, it, and what's your surname as well? Uh, my surname's Adams, but they're coming through to all different names. I'm literally, I've got ones to Adams, I've got like dirty ones, Mr. Small Willy, Mr. Big Willy. I mean, my mum looks at me sometimes, it's very embarrassing. Um, oh, right, okay. Dr. Yummy Eddie. I haven't heard of that before, but. Mr. Nick, can you guess what his surname is? Bloody bro, it's racist, it's awful. We really need to stop this now. Can we Can we get my address blacklisted? I would have thought you would notice, like, with the ridiculous names coming through. Like, we don't have the control over these, um, so it would be somebody who's creating the accounts online. I do apologise, sir. I'll certainly get that uh, popped through for you, and I'll get that sent away to the fraud team as well, just so they can, um... That, that was exactly what I wanted to hear. Fraud department? Yes, please. Finally, someone's taking it bloody seriously. You're in trouble now, aren't you? Dirty little birdies. Fraud department are onto it. And we've captured that on video. So I will be holding Tesco's to that because basically, in my eyes at the moment, they're complicit in a hate crime. I know someone's creating these accounts, but surely they should have some kind of quality control. Shouldn't be sending stuff out to Adolf bloody Adams. Idiots. Well, they've committed to it now. It's getting sorted and you, whoever's doing it, you're in bloody trouble. All right, finally, stuff's being taken seriously. All right, now I am going to go reward myself with an all-day breakfast because it's been a very stressful start to the morning and I need I need something to G me up a little bit. So we'll we continue with the vlog once I've, I've sated my appetite. Uh, I'm back home again after my all-day breakfast. Now, it has done the trick of dissipating my anger, but I've actually been left with a really, really deep sense of melancholy after finishing my breakfast. And 
I, I, I want to take a moment to talk about something quite serious, something that's very close to my heart and that is, to me, very serious. And I don't understand why more people aren't talking about it, to be honest with you. I think the government actually need to get involved and do something about this. Um, and that's not something I say lightly. I don't call for government involvement. I don't think they should stick their noses into, into stuff. But I think we do need someone in officialdom to kind of standardise the size of hash browns. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous that I'm going into cafes and ordering blind. Um, all day breakfast, one of my favourite meals. I have four or five of them a week. Um, now, while I like to eat the same meal, I don't like to have it at the same place. You know, variety is a spice of life. I like to go to different cafes and try their attempt at an all day breakfast. Um, but I'm being punished for having an adventurous heart. Um, it's, it's ridiculous that I don't know whether I'm going to get a, a hash brown that's big and chunky and the size of my fist or one that's tiny, pathetic and limp and just this little triangle. Uh, I, I like to have a fried slice and two large hash browns. That is a carbohydrate amount that I require uh, with all my eggs, bacon, beans and whatever garnish they've stuck on there. Um, it, I'm, I'm ordering blind. I've got no idea whether I want. I have to order four hash browns to make up for the fact that they're little midget ones um, or whether I'm going to order four and just be left with extra hash brown. It's not mine. I should not be ordering blind in a cafe. Sometimes they're busy. You can't always talk to them about it. Sometimes when you try and start a conversation with them about the size of their hash browns, they look at you like you're mental. I shouldn't have to go through that. Um, more people need to be talking about this. Now, I've been thinking about how we can like start a campaign who we want to get involved. Now, I know Jamie Oliver like, often campaigns about food, but I don't want to get him involved. He's always be a little twat, and he'd probably end up campaigning to stop them being fried or something, make them healthy. Um, so we've got to be careful about who we get involved. I think for now, we need to come up with a hashtag, a hash brown hashtag. I did think about hashtag standard sized hash browns, but it doesn't seem very kind of catchy. Now, if you guys can think of something better, do let me know in the comment section, because this is something I want to get really involved with. I think we need to light a fire under this um, and, and get some, some kind of legislation in there. So we all know exactly what we get when we're ordering it. It's just not right. Right, it's time to get back on with our to-do list. Right, now we are going to take Lenny out for a walk. Now, you may notice a sort of change from the previous vlog. Uh, he now has a harness on, which we tried last night for the first time, and it, it made a massive difference. So, I'm hoping the tide is turning on this. Right, will you look at this? He is absolutely walking properly now. Uh, we need to get him better trained on the lane so he's not pulling so much, but we are smashing this. Progress is being made, Len. I can finally get back on here after an afternoon of bloody drama. Sorry about this, huh? Some shocking discovery I made this afternoon. I went out to sort the recycling out, take some more out there, and outside in the front garden, empty bottle of Jack Daniels. Straight inside to confront my mum, right? She doesn't normally buy JD, and I've recently bought a brand new bottle for my supply cupboard, just in case, worst case scenario, I get quarantined at home under this new global pandemic that's incoming, right? You know, a lot of stuff. Well, about to have gone wrong for me to be quarantined at home. That is literally bottom of my list of contingency plans. But if that does happen, the worst does happen, I thought I want a bottle of JD just to try and ease me through the pain of being stuck with my family for two weeks. Anyway, anyway so I come in and come follow her. They, they quaffed it on their bloody date night when everyone was here. My mum, my sister, my sister's partner, fat bloke called Vic. They've all drunk my JD. I basically funded their joy. 20 quid up the wall. I resent every penny of it. I've sent her down to the shop now. There are consequences to your actions, mother. You know, that is a worst case scenario thing, that cupboard, that needs to be kept full. She's going to replace it. She's going to, she protested, but she's going to learn there's consequences. Idiot. Selfish. I don't, that's the only thing that surprises me now, is that I'm still surprised at my family's selfishness. You would have thought they'd be taking it seriously. I noticed a lot of you, actually, weren't taking it seriously in the comment section of my last video. Um, a lot of you were just saying stuff like, oh, hey, it's just influenza, Callum. That teaches me that you don't really understand how serious influenza can be and just how important modern vaccines have been in saving millions of lives from influenza. Uh, it's a novel coronavirus. Novel means it's new, it's unknown. We have literally no idea what's coming, but everything that we have seen is incredibly worrying. We've literally got hundreds of millions of people being quarantined at the moment. If you don't understand that is a real possibility for you, then you've just not, you've not been paying attention. If you're waiting for the, for the news and the TV to tell you it's time to panic, then you will have waited too long. Honestly, make your contingency plans just to make it a bit easier because it could be a troublesome time. Um, a lot of you actually, I will address it as well, also said uh, that I was being fattest in my last video. I made that very clear. 
Um, it, it, I'm talking about looting a fat lady's house because she probably wouldn't make it if there was a pandemic in this country. You know, when she got sick and we were short of food, she'd have some good food. Um, it was nothing against her for being fat. I did explain there's a lovely fat lady who I wouldn't look just out of respect for how jolly she is. Um, but that woman, she's a nightmare. She really is miserable, honestly. Um, so it's not fat, it's, it, it's just logical. You've got to think logically, you know, probably got diabetes, it's a comorbidity. Um, you know, it's a cruel world. And if you're not thinking about those things, you're not gonna be the one who survives. I can only teach you so much. I can take you to water, but I can't make you drink. All right, we're gonna wrap this video up there, I think. I've got a lot of vlogs I wanna do this week, lots of stuff I wanna film. Tomorrow I'm filming, reviewing my reviews over on my Facebook page. So if you wanna leave me a last minute review, it's just Callum's Corner over on Facebook. Um, you can review me, you might be in the video. Right, let's, yeah, let's wrap it up here. I will probably see some of you on stream tonight, but those of you who I don't, I'll see hopefully for the next vlog. If you enjoyed it, you can leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, you can leave a dislike. Just want your honest opinions, really. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.